Hi everyone and welcome to your collective tarot love message. This is going to be a collective reading, therefore this means that it's not specifically intended for any one sign, okay? But as I always like to say, if you've clicked on this reading, there's obviously something here that has drawn you to this reading. There's um, a reason why you've been guided here and why you've been led here. There may be a message um, or several that is intended to reach you and that you're meant to hear, okay? Um, in today's reading, we are going to focus on why the universe has removed a certain person from your life. So for those of you who did have um, someone take an exit from your life, whether recently or whether quite some time ago, then I guess this reading is more um, tailored to you in your situation, okay? Whether, um, you know, someone has taken an exit from your life temporarily, um, or sometimes the universe has a tendency to remove people from your life um, permanently, we want to go ahead and see what exactly is the reason why, okay? So why has this person been removed from your life? Um, and what was the purpose um, of them entering your life. There is also going to be an extended and in, in the extended we'll just take a look and see um, we'll obviously go into more depth and detail in the extended reading and we'll take a look and see whether the the universe is going to bring this person back okay or whether you'll have a chance to reconnect with this um, individual and the extended is going to be made available guys via the extension link below. Also, as this is a general reading, for those of you interested in a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address will be listed below. On that note, guys, let's go ahead and let's begin with the reading. So, um, the universe does, you know, it has a tendency to remove people from your life um, for a reason, okay? There's always a reason. I know it's so cliche when people say things happen for a reason, but honestly, I believe that they do. Um, sometimes you find out why certain people are removed from your life and you know sometimes you find out why um, soon after and sometimes it takes a little bit longer maybe like years to find out exactly what the reason was um, and sometimes you know um, truth be told you may never really know why you may never really find out why at all so hopefully the reading can um, today's reading and today's messages can help you with can help you understand or can help you at least you know come into acceptance with why someone has left um, I think for you the, mo the most important thing you can do right now the most important thing that you can do for yourself and for your situation is trust um, you know you tr trust the process okay for whatever reason the universe has removed this person from your life and whether or not they're going to bring this person back or not you just have to trust in the universe and you have to trust in the divine order of things and you have to trust in the divine timing and the divine intervention i know it's probably um you know um it might be frustrating for some of you to hear you know trust the process trust that everything happens for a reason but i think that's the best thing that you can do trust that you know trust when new people enter your life and trust when people exit your life because this specific person that um, a lot of you have on your mind right now and this person that you're you know thinking about i feel like this person has um you know ha has been a very special I feel like they've been a very special connection. This has been a special connection and this has been a very special person because I feel like there's a lot of resonance with this person and, you know, their energy here. And I feel like for a lot of you, there's been a lot of emotions and a lot of feelings and a lot of depth to this connection. So you need to trust those feelings, okay? You need to um, trust your heart. You need to trust your instincts. So if your instincts are saying that, you know, um, the two of you are going to cross paths again, or if your instincts are saying that, you know, this was something very special, this was something very extraordinary, um, you know, this wasn't, uh, you know, this was fated and this was destined, this wasn't just an accident. You need to trust your feelings, you need to trust what your heart is telling you, okay? And you need to follow through. Um, if this person is supposed to stay in your life, they will, okay? So even if this is a disconnection, a discord, or a bit of a break that you're going through, it may just be temporary, is what the cards seem, um, seeming to indicate, okay? If this person is supposed to leave from your life and not return, then this is exactly what's going to happen, and this is why trust is so important, okay? Sometimes you, um, you know, sometimes we think we know what's best, and we think that, you know, our plan and our timing and our, um, 
order of things is best but the universe is something bigger and something better planned for us and we need to trust in that we need to trust in that um, process and trust in the universe magic uh, i feel like you have to really be patient and i'll tell you why because the connection between you and this person has not dissolved okay so either if you guys um you know if you guys are emotionally disconnected or whether you're physically disconnected or whether you're disconnected here by you know geography that connection has not dissolved those feelings that you felt when you're with this person and those feelings that they feel you know when they were with you that hasn't dissolved that emotional thread that connected the two of you together still does okay there's still this emotional thread that connects the two together the two of you together and this is why I you know I say that it's so important for a lot of you to trust your heart and trust your intuition because your heart and your intuition you know, is telling you that, you know, this is a special person and this is a special connection. And even though the two of you may have had a tower moment or even several, and even though this is someone who may have hurt you, there was no malice intentions, okay? There was no um, ill intentions towards you, okay? Um, the people that the, are the closest to you and the people that, you know, we love the most do have a tendency to hurt us. So, but there's no, there's no malice, okay? And that's important for you to know. Um... Be patient because I think that the connection is still blooming. The connection between you and the connection between this individual is still, um, it's still blooming, okay? And it will have a chance to bloom in the future. It's just that I think it's, and again, it might be really hard for some of you to hear, but I think the separation and this connection is necessary. It's necessary for you. It's necessary for them. So it's necessary for your individual selves, but it's also necessary for this, you know, the sake of this connection, the sake of this relationship. It's necessary. This break, this, you know, separation um, is absolutely necessary to preserve this connection. Okay. Um, because I think what happened is some of you had the this connection got a point. It got up to a point where the two of you hung on some sort of coping mechanisms. Okay, maybe there was a lot of um, things that you weren't dealing with, or maybe you guys were dealing with things in an unhealthy manner. Okay, um, and I can see that seven of wands. A lot of you were pretty resistant to change. Okay, there were some things that needed to change in order for this connection to work. Um, you might have need, needed to change yourself in the process, okay? Um, and what I mean by that is improve yourself, right? If you didn't know, if you didn't learn, if you didn't know patience, you had to learn patience. Um, or your person needed to change themselves, right? They may have needed to um, learn patience. They may have needed to improve themselves. Like you may have needed to do some work on yourselves. Your person might have needed to do some work on themselves. But I can see that. You know, change is scary for a lot of people, and I get that. And I can see that you or your person were pretty resistant to something here, whether it was change or whether it was like a new way of doing things. Um, because, and what that meant is, in order for this connection to have moved forward, you had to move from out of your comfort zone. But not a lot of people want to do that, right? Because your comfort zone, although no growth and no change happens there, it's pretty comfortable. So I can see that there was this resistance to. Maybe change the way you are, whether it's your emotional behavior, but for the better, okay? So it's not like, you know, changing the person that you needed to be. It's like improving yourself. It's like bringing back a healthier and happier version um, out of yourself, um, from yourself. And there was a lot of resistance. There was a lot of resistance um, because a lot of you, I think, were so scared. I think the reason why... Or even if this is your individual um, that we're talking about, this may not have even been you, or maybe it was both of you, okay? So feel free to sort of, you know, take the narrative as it fits yours. Um, but I think someone was so scared to change, or even someone was so scared of risking something, okay? And I'll tell you why, because there's such a fear in the energy here, because they were scared of losing everything that they had for something unknown or for like unknown results, if you know what I mean. Like if they changed or if they decided to risk something, they were so scared to lose what they had with you or you were so scared to lose um, everything that you had for fear of for the unknown, basically. Um, and I think overall it got to a point where even though you guys loved each other or even guys or even though you cared deeply for each other, I can see that there was something here that was making you fatigued. There was something here that was making you a little bit tired and there was something here that did manage to somehow 
um, wedge of distance between you and uh, this individual. And what happens is when you're not living your truth, when you're not living, um, you know, according to your higher self, the universe is going to send you signs, okay? Now, you're not always going to understand these signs. You're not always going to pick up these signs. You're not always going to interpret those signs. But the universe will continually send you signs to put you back on the right path. And this is a sign. This is a huge sign. This is a sign that's come in the form of a tower, okay? This breakup, this separation, this disconnection is an absolutely colossal sign. The reason why some of you are here is because you're learning to respond, okay? You're being receptive and you're responding to, to the signs. And that's why you're here listening to this message or to other messages. Or, you know, you're trying to seek out the truth because th this is a good thing, okay? Because you're responding to the universe's signs. You're learning to interpret it. You're learning to read. You're learning to understand it. So, um, but when you don't pay attention or when you don't want to, okay? there's a, Sometimes you don't pay attention just because you're lacking the focus. Other times... You don't want to pay attention, and that's a difference. You will miss those signs. You will absolutely miss those signs. So there is absolutely a lesson from out of this breakup and out of this separation. Your lesson is not going to be the same as the next person listening to this. And their lesson is not going to be the same as the next person listening to, to them, right? To this. Your lesson is absolutely unique to you, and it's absolutely unique to your person, and it certainly is unique to your relationship and the connection that you had with this person. So regardless how you feel about this breakup and this separation, and for some of you, you feel fear, you feel anxiety, you feel unhappy, you feel tired, you feel sad, um, you know, you're feeling blue about it. I can see that, you know, I can see that there's, you, a lot of you are feeling resistant as well. Like resistant is so strong in the energies here. The strong, like the more resistance that you feel, the louder these signs are gonna get. And some, for some of you, the signs are pretty loud and they're pretty out there. Um, you know, when you were with this person, or you know, even just during this breakup and this separation, I think your emotions are sort of all over the place. So if you're going from happy to angry to feeling depressed to feeling happy again, you know, there's a high chance that you're suffering. Uh, you're suffering within. Okay, and it could be difficult. This could also be your person, by the way. Okay, if your person had these mood swings or this irritability, or you know, if the both of you went from a connection that was happy to to sad to angry to frustrating to all sorts of emotions, if your emotions were all over the place when you were with this person or during this connection or even now as we speak, it's likely that you are unhappy and you might be hurting within, or your person is unhappy and you're hurting within, and. When that happens, we have a tendency to hurt others. We don't want to, but because of the way we're feeling, you know, you might not want to make, you want, you might not want to face the fact that you're feeling what you're feeling, okay? And as a result, you tend to make, like, poorer decisions. You tend to make decisions that are not, are not in alignment, and you're not living your truth. So, if your emotions are all over the place, I think it's so important for you to take a step back. Okay, I think it's so important for you to stick, take a step back and try to figure out what's triggering those emotions. Because there is triggers behind some of those emotions as well. With the tower and with this breakup and with this dis uh, disconnection, what this tells you is that your old ways are crumbling. Okay, remember how I said this, this breakup could actually be the best thing that's ever happened to you. And I'll tell you why in a second. Remember that every time the tower moment shows up, yes, it's ominous, yes, it's threatening, yes, it's dramatic, yes, it's, you know, um, a catastrophe, yes, you know, it's, you know, it's scary, right? It is. But it's also a blessing in disguise because what that tells you is that your old ways are crumbling or your old ways need to crumble and need to fall apart. When your old ways are not serving you, and this is what's happened, someone here perhaps even the both of you you needed to work on yourself okay that's not because you guys were toxic for each other or you were not right for each other this isn't what this reading is about in fact you know dare i say you guys are perfect for each other but you need to work on yourself so in order to have to fulfill the destiny of this connection in order to re-attract each other back into your lives right in order for the two of you to reconnect with each other you absolutely have to allow for this tower moment and i know it feels uncomfortable and it probably feels frustrating and it probably feels you probably feel angry and upset and 
all sorts of emotions and they're absolutely valid and it's okay for you to feel what you feel but you have to understand that um you know no matter how hard you're gonna try right now the pieces that you have on the floor are not gonna fit okay you're going to find what you're finding is happening now is a crumbling foundation and if you're going to try hard to maintain this crumbling foundation it's not going to work okay this sign has come in many forms for some of you this crumbling foundation of this tower has come in many forms or in different forms right um, for some of you for instance if you find that you're a drinker or if you find that you know you you're drinking a little bit too much you might find that you're a little bit more sick or more unwell than usual um, you know if your food is unhealthy you might start to notice that your body cannot handle certain foods okay if your communication um, you know is not effective or if you don't communicate with intention you might find a lot of misunderstandings so your signs are going to come your signs from the universe are going to come in many different ways and i think you need to um, really uh, you know learn to interpret and respond to the signs the universe right now is telling you the reason why you have this tower moment is the universe is telling you to address your situation so whatever wasn't working in your connection or whatever just wasn't working with your individual selves this is a chance for you to address it this is why so this is why the tower moment is this blessing in disguise and this is why you so have to be patient with the process because the universe is allowing you a second chance it's telling you hey you want a second chance with this person i'll give you the second chance but you need to work on yourself because you can't go back to someone and expect, you know, there's a saying, right? You cannot expect to get different results if you keep doing the same thing again and again. I mean, that's complete lunacy. It doesn't make sense, right? So you can't go back to this person in the same energy in which the relationship broke off or in which the relationship disconnected, okay? Basically, you cannot heal in the same environment that you, you know, got unwell in, right? So if you were to go back now, especially if those emotions are all over the place, if you've since healed and if you're doing well, then I guess I'm not talking, like, I guess I'm not addressing you. But if your emotions are all over the place, if you're still feeling anger and hurt, and especially if you're still feeling resistance to this disconnection or this separation, this is not a good energy for the two of you to try and realign in, okay? Because you know what's going to happen. Well, whatever happened the first time. So this is why it's so important for you to address whatever is no longer serving you okay um and i'm not a psychic i don't personally know what's no longer serving you but you do you are absolutely the expert on your relationship okay you it's you so and this is where you're going to have to this is where it gets a little bit uncomfortable because you're going to have to be really raw and honest and truthful with yourself and the hardest person to be honest with i honestly believe is yourself right so this is where you're going to have to confront it this is where you're going to have to confront your truth your ugly truth right your the absolute raw truth so you know what wasn't serving you what traits what habits what behavior emotional physical psychological did you have um or uh, you know do you still have that is no longer serving you or that isn't serving you positively and how did it affect this relationship because the truth is it takes two to tango and the truth is the both of you were in this relationship and the both of you absolutely played a role in this breakup in this disconnection in this separation okay so you know it's not fair for your person to roll up um the the blame mat and put it at your doorstep nor is it fair for you to do the same to them because the both of you played an you know, maybe it's not a 50-50, maybe it's like a 70-30, I don't know, but the both of you played a role in this separation, in this disconnection, and you absolutely have to own that. Um, so the universe found that it's time for you to move away from this person, so to move away from something internal, from something external, so that you could move into something internal, if that makes sense. So something that... It was something internally because your mirror your inner world reflects your outer world so if your outer world if it's chaotic and if it's you know um if there's disorder that's what's happening in your inner world it's like a direct reflection of your inner world um so the universe here is removing someone from your life because they're not or has removed this person from your life because they're not serving you positively right now okay because this person has their own inner work to do they've got their own shadow work to do okay um and 
sometimes and it's in as do you right you've got some healing to do you've got to heal some emotional wounds that fester you've got to work on some um patterns of behavior whether they're emotional whether they're physical so that can they can serve you better they can serve you more positively you maybe you have to go back and heal some trauma maybe you you know because i'm seeing that there's a lot of triggers i'm seeing these trigger points emotional touch buttons um that need working on or you know patterns patterns of behavior that were not positive and that did not serve this connection positively so what happens is when something is no longer working for you sometimes those people okay those romantic energies those friends or those family members they're going to initiate the breakup so if this person initiated the breakup it's because the universe was working through them if you're the one that initiated the breakup okay the universe is working through you so so and it, it's absolutely important for you to sort of accept that right some of you might be getting a little bit lonely without this person okay um but in the end i think what's happening is you're learning to learn more about yourself you're learning to learn more about yourself and about the role that you played in the breakup and how maybe you would do things d differently okay mm -hmm. maybe with this person or the next person so there's absolutely i feel like you know this person had your best interest and still has your best interest i think it's important for you to know that but i think right now they were not helping you move forward and you weren't helping them move forward so this is why this breakup and this separation is absolutely important i think a lot of you intuitively okay a lot of you are really um strongly intuiting that this person is going to come back okay so the universe is going to recognize and i'll tell you when this person is going to come back i'll even give you an exact um you know time frame when this person is going to come back when the universe recognizes that you are or have done your work your inner work your shadow work same for this person okay when your person when the universe recognizes um that you know your person has done the work has done the shadow work until then no reconnection or even if you will try to reconnect before you are ready guess what's going to happen Mm -hmm. you're gonna go back to this tower moment you're gonna it's possible there will be a reconnection um a, a, a separation or a disconnection and it's possible it might even be permanent this time so you know if the universe has moved this removed this person from your life it's so important that you try and understand the true effects that the person had on your well-being okay the positive but also the negative and it's so important that you do the same here as well um, the other thing is, if you feel like there was something to do with timing, okay, because I think for a lot of you, timing was absolutely crucial to this connection. Um, so, for example, if every time there was something he, if timing was a bit of an issue in this connection. So, what do I mean by that? For example, your timing might have been a little bit off. If you, like, if you had dates with this individual, and if you find yourself, like, running late, or if they were running late even just by a few minutes or if somehow even if you left early but you caught like every red light on the way there or you missed the train to see this person or um you just every time you wanted to watch a film or you wanted to you know catch the tv series that you both like but maybe your internet dropped out or maybe you guys just missed the show for whatever reason so if your timing was off in the connection and for a lot of you there was a lot of this happening okay so you need to try and go back you know and think back to those times that's saying that your timing has been a little bit off with this person and with this connection it's and what that means is something was off within you and something was off within this person so and i think what that has to do with it is the fact that this person maybe wasn't the healthiest happiest version for themselves nor were they for you and nor were you okay so when the timing is off you'll notice timing being a little bit wonky in the relationship, timing being a little bit wonky in the connection. And it might be something very small, but those things will add up, if that makes sense. And when that happens, that usually happens when you're trying to force something that isn't quite fitting or isn't making sense. When you're trying to take like unnecessary action, you're trying to force it, you're being very forceful to try and make things happen okay you can't force things there needs to be this organic flow um to everything so i think that you know this essentially this this connection this separation that's happened between the both of you is so that you know your world needed to crumble so that you can come back together again 
and you can live the life and you can have that relationship you've always wanted because the truth is the two of cups indicates there is something very special and something very profound about this person's energy and the way they resonate with yours okay um it could even be a soulmate here there's just something so i know it sounds cliche and i know the word soulmate gets thrown around so many times but there is something very soulful about this connection there is something so like, for example, I do see that this person is someone who aligns with you. But yes, you know, the things that we spoke about, the resistance, the timing, the self, the, the inner work, the shadow work, all of that. No one is perfect. And I do think that, you know, your person and both yourself needed to, to do the work so that you can build, you know, so that you can come back together. You can be healthier, happier, you know, better versions of yourself for the sake of yourselves, for each other and for this connection. So you can live the life that you want and you can have that relationship you've always wanted with the person that you've always wanted, right? Um, take, it's so important that you read the signs and so important that you take the hints from the universe. Because if you're going to try and force a, a, you know, a reconnection, if you're going to try and force anything when it's not meant to happen, guess what? It's just not going to go your way, okay? Um, the universe is trying to help you live your best life and sometimes that means it does mean that the universe is going to intervene it's going to remove certain people from your life it's going to push you outside of your comfort zone it's going to make you feel all sorts of different emotions it's going to make you uncomfortable it's going to make you frustrated but that's where the growth is happening and essentially you are growing through what you're going through and so is your person okay um i do see a, a reconnection very strongly in the cards i do see that there is some a very strong healing quality to this to this reading and to this person and to this connection and i do think you know this person just as there's a reason why they've left your life there's a reason why they've entered your life in the first place and there's a reason why this person is coming back and yes i do feel very strongly for you as indicated in the cards that this person is coming back but you just got to lower your resistance you have to lower your resistance so if your guard is still up and if you're resisting that's going that energy those energies are only going to persist so if you want to reattract this person into your life sooner than later drop your resistance okay drop your resistance take a step back, try and understand, try and figure out. The answers are might not necessarily be in the reading. The answers might be within you. So what you got to do is you got to dig deep. Okay, you got to sit with it for as long as those answers come to you. I'll tell you what helps, just sitting in silence. Just sitting in silence and your the answers are going to come to you deep from within your intuition. Listen to them, okay? Um, yeah, as I was saying, there is a reason why this person entered your life. Because this is your soulmate. This is the person that is destined for you. This is the person that the universe intended for you. This is the person that you're meant to, you know, end up with. This is your person. Um, and you will be much happier. You will be a much happier individual. And you will be so much happier with this person when you, if you allow for the universe to do its thing. If you allow for the universe to bring in those changes, okay? There is absolutely a reconnection. The two of you are going to come back together again. You're going to cross paths. The Six of Wands indicates a, a, a more positive direction. So things are moving in a more positive direction. And this is why this disconnection, this separation is so important. For some of you, it doesn't mean that it's a permanent one. Yes. Only if you continue with the resistance. So if you do disconnect and if you separate or if you are disconnected and if you're separated and if you don't learn the lessons and if you don't learn to read the signs and if you don't try and understand um you know why it happened <clears throat> and if you don't do the inner work the shadow work and especially if your person doesn't do the same then there will be no reconnection okay there will be no alignment there will be no reconnection even if you try to force fit a reconnection it won't happen sadly you might be happy for a couple of weeks even a couple of days even a couple of months or even a couple of years but there ultimately will be another tower moment and a huge one at that so that's why it's so important that you you know to prevent any further upcoming tower moments because for some of you i think you've had enough you know i think enough of the tower moments right especially when it comes to relationships and to prevent that from happening again and to live a more healthier happier life with your person your you know your special person it's so important that you do the work now and that they do the work now and you you do the healing and healing is messy and healing is ugly and healing is going to take time but it's so important that you get in there and only then will that within the alignment flow only then will then you be able to reattract each other and reconnect with each other because you're both coming from this place of alignment right 
Okay, I'm going to stop it at that. In part two, we're going to go ahead and take a look and see when exactly you're going to be reconnecting. So we'll see if we can get some time frames. We'll see, um, you know, how communication might be moving forward, when you might expect communication or, you know, more importantly, that reconnection. So follow me to part two of the reading via the extension link below. I just want to thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. It is greatly appreciated. If you haven't already, please do show your support to the channel by subscribing to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. It does help the channel to grow and growth is always a good thing. Um, and also don't forget to share, like or even dislike. Hey, it's all engagement. Um, and comment down below. Thank you guys so much. Bye for now.